Hello there, welcome back. Welcome to the first episode of this series, which is regarding Gate 2023. So in this first episode, we will discuss about the past, the past of the Gate exam. So we will try to analyze it, try to understand the format of the paper. We will see the marks distribution, subject wise marks distribution. So on that basis, how was the cutoff? How many toppers got the mark so on that basis we will try to understand the whole paper and we will make our own strategy that how should we prepare for upcoming gate exam that is gate 2023 so without any due let's get started so this is the marks distribution all the way from 2011 to 2022 so last 12 years on the left side going from top to bottom you will see 11 subjects all the way from mathematics aptitude fluid fluid flow plus mo heat transfer mass transfer cre thermodynamics pdc chemical technology plant design and finally cepc that is process calculations so we have 11 subjects here i made these two subjects as one because there are a lot of concepts which like both of them are sharing like fluid digestion both of them share that concept so i included them as uh, one subject here on the right side when you go from uh, left to right all the way from 2011 to 2022 you will see they have their institute also according to so these institute these iits plus iasc these are the institute who organized that year that's the name like 2011 iit madras organized it 2012 iit delhi organized it. same way all the way 2022 iit kharagpur organized it organized the exam so you will always see whenever you pick up their paper now if you pick up the iit madras delhi and bombay paper you will find out that they give importance to everything because of which their cutoff is and their topper marks is always like in the good range but when you look at IIT Kanpur and Kharagpur, you will see they are make really tough paper because they mostly focus on the concepts. Okay, I'm not saying it's wrong. It's just about every IIT have their own rules of organizing the paper. Okay, IAC is okay. It comes in between these three institute and these two. Okay, these are the, these are they make really tough tough in the sense because they are mostly focused on concepts. They give importance to everything. But when you talk about IIT Roorkee and Guwahati, they have the easy, one of the easiest paper. IIT Roorkee organized the 2017 exam and the uh, topper marks are I think more than 90 marks and with a cutoff more than 40 marks. So one of the easiest paper ever been. So after 2018, they started organizing the gate exam again in the same sequential order. So in this sequence, if we will go to 2023, IIT Kanpur is going to organize the paper. Okay, so this is the sequence. This is what I want to show. Now, one more uh, most important thing is, after 2018, they uh, finalized, they like freeze the marks of mathematics. Before that, it was like all the way from 11, 12, 13. Okay, keep fluctuating. After 2019, they finalized the marks for the mathematics plus aptitude. So now it's 28 marks from last four years. But these are the easiest marks you can get in gate exam. Okay. After then, you will see that some of the subjects have almost always like single, almost double digit. Like many of the cases, you see fluid flow always like in double digits. This is all almost close to double digit, double digit, double digit, thermo single digit process control is almost like single digit so this marks distribution of all the subjects year wise will give you an idea that which subjects are contributing more in the gate exam and which are contributing least in the gate exam so these ones you can say all are almost double digit but these three are single digit so you you need a strategy to prepare for the gate exam let me show you one more thing here so this is the average contribution. So if you will take the average from of the last 12 years, the marks distribution, you will find out that mathematics, obviously 13 marks, then we have general aptitude as 15 marks. But then we have fluid flow, which fluid flow plus mechanical operations, which contribute on an average 12 marks. Heat transfer is nine marks. That's the average, like, although like half of the time they cross 10 marks also, 10, 13, so. 11 marks like 2022 the contribution from heat transfer was 11 marks but as a whole if you will check it is approximately 9 marks 
then mass transfer 11 chemical reaction CRE 11, 12 marks then you can see these are some of the single digit subjects thermo no one has given too much importance to thermodynamics so far like 13 10 is the maximum okay it happened once in a while but these subjects they are always like less than 10 marks okay so all these things help you to decide how you should prepare which subject you should choose so this is what I was talking about like this is the past okay this is the whole past and you have to decide on that basis that if something is continuously repeating itself throughout like 12 years from the last 12 years it means they are fixed okay it means this is what is going to happen next year also almost same story will be repeated next year also okay so they will have the same mark same type of marks contribution now one thing you have to understand it that when you go for interview okay so you will have at that time you have to decide some of the core subjects of chemical engineering i'm not saying these are not core all 11 are core subjects all actually 12 all 12 are core subjects of chemical engineering but when you let's say you go for the bark interview you can't say sir ask me questions from chemical technology ask me questions from plant design and all those things no okay you will have to say heat transfer mass transfer cre pdc these are some of the core subjects mass heat cre and pdc these are the three four subjects which are like the core subject of chemical engineering because when we talk about fluid flow na, or we can we talk about thermodynamics these are two subjects which mechanical engineer also study in their bachelor uh, bachelor degree they also go for the higher study in that specific field but nobody study mass transfer cre process control okay so these are like core subject for you so it took some like heat and mass are some of the easiest one if you know the process calculations then you can easily attempt heat and mass transfer questions i mean process calculation is like a baseline for heat and mass transfer so this is the overall mass distribution all the way from 2011 to 2022 we understood one thing we have to prepare the maths plus aptitude if you are an engineer maths is mandatory for you okay so maths aptitude 28 marks then we have fluid flow plus mo which is again more than 10 marks heat transfer almost 10 marks then mass transfer almost 10 cre more than 10 so now you have understood which are the important subjects here okay so now one important thing i would like to share here is on on the basis of my analysis okay on the basis of my analysis what should be the format of the paper in 2023 expected one i'm not saying it for sure but this is the expected one i'm talking about so 2023 paper will be most probably with this marks distribution so fluid flow has to go above average because iit kanpur gave in 2014 15 only nine marks which is way less than average so they have to improve IIT Kanpur has to provide more marks in the fluid flow next year. So fluid flow will be one of the most important subject in 2023 on the basis of digits. This is almost average. Okay. This is also go closer because they gave only nine marks, which is way less than average. So next time they will try to compensate these marks. Similarly, uh, IIT Kharagpur gave only 10 marks. This is 12. But when you look at IIT Kanpur this one 2015 10 marks again 10 so they try to compensate it this time this is the ideal situation I am saying it so this will be the estimated marks contribution in 2023 I am trying to make a plan for my preparations in the future I have to prepare for gate 2023 so I will have to get some idea from this marks distribution and that's what I concluded from here. And now I will choose my subjects according to this distribution, this marks distribution. That will be my target now. Overall story that IIT Kanpur is going to conduct the exam. Second, this may be the estimated marks distribution in the coming year. Okay. Now the second question is the cutoff. Why I'm sharing this cutoff with you guys? So people usually ask this question, sir, how should we prepare to just to crack the gate? How should we prepare to just crack the gate? So look at the cutoff 2011 to all the way 2022. 
the maximum cutoff was 44 marks which was like 2017 when iit roorkee organized this exam so whenever i prepare i never consider this cutoff okay i look except this one i look all the cutoffs and i found all the cutoffs are less than 40 marks so you must have at least 40 marks to crack the gate that should be your minimum target if you want to crack the gate the minimum target is 40 marks that is the minimum okay i'm just comparing with respect to journal i mean category wise you can compare and make your own target but what i'm trying to say as a whole you must have to target for at least 40 marks to crack the gate exam now on that basis people also have this query that how should they prepare like if i want only 40 marks then how should i prepare so i do i did a survey i uploaded a question for the subscribers and thank you for your vote first of all so on that basis i found like i distributed the subjects on the basis of 50 marks each so if you will combine the marks distribution from all subjects you will find everyone is approximately 50 marks and all of those voters they said if you were preparing maths plus aptitude heat ct chemical technology economics and mechanical operations with the maximum votes then you can easily crack the gate you understand my point i am trying to say if you are choosing these subjects they always have approximately 50 marks maths plus aptitude 28 marks ct always go four to five marks which is 32 okay heat transfer always 10 that is 42 economics 4 to 5 46 again 3 to 4 marks for mechanical so almost 50 marks so if you think that you just want to crack the gate exam on the basis of cutoff then these are the best subjects that you can choose to prepare for the upcoming gate one more question people ask that from where we should start now okay so like i'm preparing it for the first time so which subjects i should choose these subjects this second category like i discussed before also these are the subjects which are easy to prepare they are really small subjects except mathematics okay but you are an engineer so mathematics i am not going to defend you at any point you have to prepare for mathematics heat transfer a very small subjects a lot of formulas little concepts but yes there are some concepts ct is just you have to remember things economics you have to remember formulas and you have to solve the question done mechanical operations only formulas and you just have to attempt the question that's it so that's the that's how you should prepare all the way so this is the starting point these are these five subjects you can choose this will give you confidence if you will then you will have time then you can prepare other subjects also presses dynamics control and other thing mass transfer heat transfer thermodynamics and all those things all i am trying to tell you if you just want to crack the gate prepare these subjects and start from these ones these are the re these are really small subjects actually now let's talk about the topper marks also because some people uh, ask me sir how should i prepare that i should get 75 marks so this is all the way and the maximum uh, topper marks are 94.75 like i again mentioned 2017 was conducted by iit Roorkee, and this was the easiest paper so i will not consider it for from the preparation perspective okay i, I never touched this paper also now apart from that if you will see all the the maximum highest marks are 89 or round off it's 90 marks okay so i can conclude it here that no one has ever achieved 100 marks in the gate exam right it's always like maximum is 90 marks last year it was 68 marks only 2015 65 marks 68 marks so minimum were when iit kanpur organized it in 2015 65 marks this time iit kharagpur organized it and we got only 68 marks but let's take for the safe side 90 marks are the highest marks so still even if you leave one subject i'm not talking about maths and aptitude i'm talking about other technical subjects still you can be the topper in gate exam you don't have to prepare everything but whatever you are preparing it should be perfect it should be best okay only then you can have like one to top 10 ranking oh yes one good thing so when we talk about this ranking 
Do you know what is the difference between 1 and 10 rank? And what is the common thing about them? All, let's first discuss the common thing. So all rankers from 1 to 10, ranking all the way from 1 to 10, they are all called for every single thing. They can go for the interviews, any industrial interviews, any any type of companies, any type of higher education, they will be called everywhere, at least top 10 rankers. Okay, so they give equal importance and even if they will all will all will be selected now, at least that specific institute company in industry will have at least 10 vacancies for you. So all these 10 rankers are almost same. There is no major difference between them. It's just yes, I understand like being as a topper is a completely different thing. Okay, but I am talking about top 10 rankers. Now, what is the difference between them? In 2016, when I saw the ranking and, and I asked them their marks. Topper had 2016-83 marks. 11 ranking in this, the person who got the 11th rank in gate exam in chemical engineering got only 71 marks. Only 71 marks. So see the difference. Rank 1 to rank 10 are eligible everywhere but still there is a marks distribution, a marks dis difference is almost more than 10 marks. So the initial rankers, for the initial ranker, the marks uh, distribution is very huge. The window is very huge actually. There is a difference of 10 marks between 1 and 10th ranking. So all I am trying to say, if you are thinking that you are unable to prepare more than one subject, still you are in the safe side. You just have to reach in top 10 ranking and you are done. You are eligible in on every single place at every single position. You don't have to worry about it. So we discussed uh, how was the marks distribution in 12 years and on that basis how should we prepare, how should we choose the subject which one we should prepare, which one is more important, which one is least important. I am not saying that don't prepare all the subjects, prepare all of them, okay. But if you think that some of the subjects are, you don't have a grip on that specific subject, so you can leave that one, so you can decide all those things on the basis of this marks distribution you can decide it on the basis of cutoff if you just want to crack the gate like we discussed if you want to become a topper if you want to be like in creamy layer if you want to be one of top 100 rankers then that part also we have discussed so you you need a strategy you can't just prepare blindly just from somewhere at this point anywhere like choose those specific subjects so if you're preparing for the first time, choose the easiest one. We have CT, we have MO, we have economics, we have chemical engineering process calculation, we have heat transfer, maths is mandatory. So these five and six subjects, easiest one, you just have to remember thing. And once you will get the confidence, you start adding up the tough subjects in that series in your preparation uh, strategy, okay? So the overall story is uh, we discussed the past and on that basis we understood one thing that how should we have to prepare for the future. Okay. And we have also discussed like I repeat again, I mentioned it again that we have handwritten notes available. We have handwritten notes available so you can access them. Okay. The link will be in the description box. If you're looking for gate books, again, the link will be in the description box. Don't worry about it. Everything is at one place organized. Okay, you just have to go and click done. Okay, so and if you have any queries, if you still have any doubts, please let us know in the comment box. I hope we have delivered what we planned. Okay, but if you still have any queries, please let us know. We will include those queries in the next video where we will discuss about the present situation, present criteria. So once you know what to prepare, now the question is how you should prepare. So we will understand that thing in the second episode of this series. So for now, I am signing off and see you soon in the next video.